Um, so life wasn't always so great. And like, how about you? Do you have some issues or problems in your life that you want to overcome? Like how many of you are stuck? You, want, you feel you're stuck in your life, you want to move forward, but you've been kind of stuck in the same level, frustrated with something, you have anxiety, um, stress, right? So, uh, can't sleep, insomnia, not making enough money, you're working very hard with little result, you have chronic pain, that's kind of been bugging you all the time, okay? Injuries, old injuries that you can't really get rid of that are bugging you whenever you exercise or when you're working. Health issues that are not improving. You're getting very tired, you get chronic fatigue, and you're getting burned out very easily, working too hard. Or you, uh, you want to start a business, you don't know where to start, or you want to move to a different point in your life, you don't know where to go. Uh, or you may feel overwhelmed, you don't know what to do because there's so many things to do. Or you're lacking clarity or focus. Okay? How many of you know someone who has at least one of these problems? Okay, at least two of these problems, three of these problems, five of these problems. <laughs> okay, keep your hand up. Ten of these problems. Okay, so these, these problems are very, very common. Okay, so I'm here to tell you that you are not alone because I've had all those problems too. And I'm happy to say that I've overcome pretty much all of them. Okay, I'm not saying this 100% of the time, I'm always perfect. Nobody's. 100% perfect, but now I have say 80% of the time I'm good. I've re I have um, overcome all these problems. So you're not alone. If you're in a place that you have those problems and you feel that you losing hope or you feel that you um, need a different solution, I'm here to tell you that there is a way. So we'll get to that. So how did I get from there to here? You're probably asking. Um, how did I get from the sickness, the debt, depression, to hear, you know, I'm happy, I'm healthy, successful, lots of friends, right? And uh, how do I do that? So before I show you, I want to teach you the science of chi and teach you what chi is about. Are you guys ready? Hi. Say aye. 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 Awesome. So what is chi? We're always wondering, what is chi? And let's talk about qi for health. So qi in Chinese medicine has about 3,000 years, oh, over 3,000 years, 5,000 year history. Uh, it dates back to 3,000 BC. There's also Ayurvedic medicine, which call it prana, is the same thing, or Japanese medicine, which call it qi, which is the same thing. It also plays a very, very important role in chiropractic care, homeopathy, homeopathy, reiki, osteopathy, and other healing modalities. So in basic traditional Chinese medicine, you want to balance your qi. Okay? If there's a lack of qi, it causes pain. If it's an excess qi, it causes inflammation, which leads to also pain. So what you want to do is just balance the yin-yang pressure points on your, on your body and your meridians. That's it in a nutshell. It's all, all about balancing your qi. So what about the science of qi? Now, there's no scientific equivalent to explain qi because qi is a universal force. Not only is it a biofield, which is in your body, it's also a universal force that connects all of us, connects us to the entire universe. So it's a lot bigger than what science itself can even explain. Okay, so if you want to understand qi, first thing to understand is what is a field? What is a magnetic field? So you all know about magnets, right? We have some magnets here, okay? Magnets. So every magnet has a field. As you can see in the diagram, that's the, um, that's the magnetic field from the iron filings that are created when um, they are put onto a, a table. And it creates a field that you can see. We also know about Earth's magnetic field. Hi, guys. Earth's magnetic field is like this. We all see it in our science books. Um, so if you understand a field, First, understand what a magnetic field is. So the human body also has a field called biofield. It's within the body, and it's also around the body. It's an electromagnetic field. It's a magnetic field. It's also an electric field. And it also is a subtle energy field. What it does is it carries bioinformation and governs the chemical processes in your body. 
it's nature's first original wireless system. Isn't that cool? So before there were any radio or uh, satellite or Wi-Fi or 5G, whatever, we had wireless communication through our own biofields. How do we get disease? Notice how I spelled disease. Disease basically means the lack of ease. So according to um, Qi medicine, it is the energetic disruption of your biofield. Okay? And either it's a lack of energy is the, or the blockage of the energy or just the lack of flow of energy. Or also it can be a disconnection from your source, from the universal source of qi, universal source of energy. Okay? So what do the qi therapies do? So for example, acupuncture, what does it do? Um, it tunes your biofield so that you become, in, uh, you go into a healthy, balanced state, which will stabilize over time. It also improves your body's re natural functions, you're resilient to stress, and resistant to disease. Okay? Who wants to be resistant to disease? I say I. Okay? When everybody's getting sick, come with the flu, nothing happens to you. Okay? Or, um, or uh, no stress. Or being able to resilient to stress. Okay? So number of stress is a really big killer right now, um, causing a lot of heart problems. So our biofuel can be programmed with, with fields from other beings, environment, or devices. Is that amazing? Okay, let me say that again. Our field, our biofield, can be programmed by other beings, other people, the environment we're in, and devices. What do I mean by that? So here's an example of field influence. To, to demonstrate this, it's brainwave entrainment. If you hear a song, that's just like we did, it affects our mood, and our mood affects our bodies. There's a mind-body connection that cannot be broken. All right? If you're in a bad mood, it shows in your body. Or if you got hurt, injured, it makes, your bad, it makes you have a bad mood, so it's always connected. If you're happy, naturally, your body creates chemicals to heal your body, right? Uh, and so it goes either way. So your mind-body connection can never be broken. So an example of field influence is a sound field of music. We all understand that, right? How a sound field can influence our mind-body. So here's an example of brainwave entrainment. A normal person with brainwaves scattered after being entrained, so uh, the brainwaves start to focus and start to balance out throughout their brain. So the fundamental principle of oriental medicine is that a healthy mind equals a healthy body. A healthy body equals a healthy mind. And also, where the mind goes, the chi flows, and where the chi flows, the blood follows. Okay, that is the foundational principle of health. If you can understand that, then you can understand pretty much everything you need to know about health in a nutshell. Okay?